Uh, we're making this video uh, for Terry today who's getting uh, his dialysis treatment. We want to wish him all the best and uh, we're looking forward to flying with him in the future. So hope he enjoys this along with everybody else that might see it. Terry, it's a great injustice. We're here flying and you're hooked up to a machine. <laughs> I don't know who to see about it though. <laughs> there you go. And here we go. This plane will fly on, uh, this plane will easily fly 12 minutes on a thousand milliamp pack. It's running on a thousand milliamp uh, 20C LiPo. We'll uh, talk about the specs when we get her down. But anyway, this is a GWS uh, Tiger Moth. Uh, this is the uh, original version. It, it's got a, this is what they call the big Tiger Moth. TM400, it's got ailerons. They make a Pico Tiger Moth, which is a smaller version without ailerons. This plane's made out of their old style foam. They have come out with a new uh, version just here lately that should be hitting the market uh, soon now. It actually, it is available from somebody. There's an EPO foam. But this is the older version. This plane, uh, all up flying weight, is about 19 ounces with a 1,000 uh, milliamp uh, 20C uh, blue LiPo battery is what we're running in it. And uh, the motor is a 2410-09Y from Heads Up RC. We're running a GWS 1060 prop on the motor. They have a mount that, where you can put that motor on the stick, uh, on the stick uh, that comes out of the front of the fuselage here, the firewall. So it's a stick mount motor. Uh, the motor is actually only, with this 1060 props, only drawing about 8.5 amps. So we're only running about uh, 90 watts on this plane. Pulling about 90 watts of power, about 8.5 amps uh, on a three cell LiPo. So she she's flying on roughly um, 80 watts per pound. And the plane flies very well on 80 watts per pound. It has a GWS uh, 15 amp speed control in it. GWS narrow servos. Um, and it just flies really, really well on uh, that minimum amount of power. If you want to go up to a 1047 prop, GWS 10 before 7, you can pick up another uh, 10 or 15 watts. Your pitch speed is lower slower your pitch speed is slower with the 1047 but she has a little more thrust so she'll climb out faster but doesn't reach a, a, a maximum speed or at least it won't fly as fast with the 1047 as it does the 1060 so i fly 1060 on it because she still climbs out real well and just sips battery after a 12 minute flight uh, on a thousand milliamp battery she charges to about 650 uh, milliamps so it's really easy on the battery. You can see it's kind of windy today. As we brought her in, the wind was bouncing us around pretty well, and I had to actually push some down elevator in it to even get her down to the ground, and the wind's picked up now. You can see it's blowing the model around in my hand, so we've kind of reached a wind velocity now where she's really not easy to fly, so we'll probably just keep her on the ground and go to a different airplane. <laughs> 